Let's talk about the four lower regions of the interface. And hopefully by the end of the video, you'll see how those four regions tend to interact with each other. And we can see how they flow into each other as well. All right, so go ahead and subscribe right there. Today, we're going to talk about the four regions of the lower interface. This is the first part of a two part video. Also not to be confused with the five points of the lower face. This one is focused on the inside regions of the lower face. So let's go ahead and take a look right away at the flow of the cheek and the flow of the cheekbone. Okay, so the flow of the cheek, what I mean by that, this is the general flow that you're going to see in faces. And it's going to vary depending whether they're smiling or not and the expression that they're making. Also, uh, their face. Faces are, are different from one face to the other, to another. So let's take a look at this first flow. So it's going to curve in, and then it's going to curve back out, and it's going to curve back in. So that's the general flow on both sides of the face. All right, so let's take a look at the other general flow. So if you take a look at this one, this is the flow that goes through the cheekbone and the entire face. Starting off at the chin, it goes straight up. It goes into the cheekbone, back into the face, into the temple, and back out. And that's gonna be on both sides of the face. Okay, now let's take a look at the four regions of the face that I tend to see when I draw faces. All right, so I have three examples. That way you can see how those shapes or those regions change shape depending on the expression that they're making and the difference in head shape. All right, so that's the mouth shape in blue. And then that's the actually mouth region in blue. And then the jaw region in green, the cheek region in red, and the chin region in purple. And the way I, the reason I broke it up this way is, is because this is how I tend to see these regions when drawing faces. And it's also helpful because they interact a certain way and they tend to overlap. They tend to interact in a way that is very pleasant and kind of predictable in my opinion and this is going to be very helpful when drawing faces this is something that you can also take and you can reconstruct in the way that you see but this is the way that i see things so depending on the expression that they're making so if you look at this one uh, this expression is changing the shape of the cheek region just because of the head shape and also the expression it's a lot narrower and longer versus this one and then this chin region right here is a lot smaller versus this one and you see how they all tend to interact with each other and how they relate to each other so that's something to study and be able to see in your head if you have somebody that's moving a lot you can just automatically be able to predict how these interactions are going to flow from one place to the other all right so and also let me go ahead and show you the grid so even with the mouth region uh, this is still three-dimensional you're still going to get front and and sides um, but it's going to be more obvious on the cheeks that it's three-dimensional so the cheek is cheek and then the chin is more obvious that it's three-dimensional but you still have some kind of form on all of these and i'll go over more over the mouth region how that curves around in the second video uh, but for now let's just take a look at these really quickly before we move on okay so let me go ahead and turn it off and let's cover two more things okay and then yeah and then turn this one off turn that and that and let's go over the dimples okay so the dimples in the face are actually on the same pathway so if you're trying to look for the dimples or locate the dimples on the face. Uh, this is also helpful because the flow of the cheekbone is in the same path. 
So if you see here, let me lower the opacity. So without it, like if you see and then with the, the line, it goes straight into the cheekbone. And it's the same line that, um, same flow that I covered earlier. So if you continue that line, it goes up into the temple and back out. And let me give you another example on how to break down the cheek. All right, so just remember the cheek has a top, a front, and a side. So depending on what face that you have, um, this is going to be more obvious or less obvious. All right, so let's go ahead and cover the very last thing that I want to cover, and that's going to be cheeks versus cheekbone let me just go ahead and turn that off there we go cheeks or cheek versus cheekbone okay so there's a difference between the cheeks and the cheekbone and the main difference is that cheeks are a result of just fat that's sitting on top of the face and that's an interaction between the eyes and the mouth so depending if the person is smiling or not and how much the the fat between the eyes and the mouth um how that's uh working together in relation to each other it that's how you're going to see the, the the cheeks so on somebody that has more fat on their face you're going the cheeks are going to be more obvious and this line is going to go interact with the with the eyes versus the cheekbone that's a direct result of having less fat on the face and the skin is being defined by what's underneath and what's underneath underneath is the skull okay so let's go ahead and take a look further look at that all right so once again i'm just emphasizing by dropping the grid on top that these cheeks are three-dimensional same thing over here instead of using uh, this grid i decided to use uh, this more of a cubic uh, shape so you have the top, you have the side, and then we have the inside side over here. Okay, and that's about it. So that's the difference between the cheeks and the cheekbone. And that's an introduction to the four regions of the face. We'll take a look at it a little bit further in the next video. Thanks so much for checking out the video. Also, make sure to check out part two. In part two, I'll be going over the Fotrum and a few other details and just reviewing the four different regions of the lower face. Check it out and make sure to subscribe. Separate the church and state so you can practice your pragmatism. You shake your head at the unwavering faith from religion while waiting for the state to make another one of your life's decisions. You curse the politicians, yet yeah, you validate the scientists, they prop for us. Governors' orders are a must. Attacking nursing homes to gain our trust. Now the conspiracy theorists are two plus.